from arch rivals Boeing and Airbus, a rare joint call for the government and cell phone industry to postpone the 5G cell phone rollout set to go live in two weeks. The world's biggest playmakers warn 5G interference could adversely affect the ability of aircraft to safely operate. But it's completely safe for you and I, obviously. 30, 20. The concern, 5G ground stations could interrupt a plane's radio altimeter, which provides precise altitude readings when landing in poor visibility. The FAA recently prohibited pilots from using altimeters during landing in bad weather starting in January when closed to 5G sites. 7,000 runways and 2,500 airports, large and small, in potential interference zones. The airline industry says that airworthiness directive could impact 345,000 flights. But that's the goal, right? Captive slave populations. Um, we're not supposed to be traveling all over the damn world because, you know, it's polluting the planet and, um, well, you know the rest. 32 million passengers facing diversions, delays, or cancellations. Boeing and Airbus want to limit 5G signals around airports as other... And things of this nature will bankrupt a lot of the smaller air airlines. They're going to be swallowed up by the major players... Ultimately, you're going to end up with just one, maybe a couple. But ultimately, I think the end goal is to just have one airline, right? One religion, one government, uh, one everything, one, right? Easier to control, right? Fewer people to um, boss around and trying to bring into the fold, right? You just... Uh, support the guy that will uh, listen to you, support the guy that is of the same mind as you, right? Or support that CEO or that business, the business, um, or make a deal with, you know, the airline that will follow all the new regulations and restrictions and whatever you tell them to do, right? And in exchange, you give them the whole market, right? I mean, this has been... Uh, the goal of these uh, so-called capitalists, right? Captive markets, uh, total and unlimited control, basically. Countries have. Other countries are very carefully regulating 5G so it won't interfere with radio altimeters. Here, it's the Wild West. They can put a tower wherever they want. Tonight, the cell phone industry tells NBC News 5G networks operate safely without interference in nearly 40 countries around the world. There is no legitimate factual basis for a delay in implementation. Meanwhile, if you... So this whole idea that your cell phone's on the airplane should be off because they may interfere with the altmeter or altimeter or whatever it's called. That's just unfounded, right? Okay. You're among the millions flying over the holidays. The TSA and United Airlines are piloting LAX fast lane. And why roll this out during peak travel times, right? Gee, why do that? Just like here in Ecuador, right? They are asking for immunity passports as people are going Christmas shopping. Just surprise, right? Christmas is canceled. In Los Angeles, allowing United passengers who don't have pre-check to reason. But again, this is to kill off all the smaller businesses, all the mom and pop shops, and to have, you know, one big corporation that's under the fold take over, right? Serve a 15-minute TSA screening window. This allows you to still have an expedited security experience, and that's the benefit for our customers. Ideal for customers who don't fly often or need some extra time. And Tom, speaking of the TSA, there was another violent passenger incident last night. This one in Miami, and I'm told it got pretty serious. Oh, what a cute little segue, right? <laughs> By the way, we need more security, right, at these airports because... Yeah, that's right. Police say a suspect tried to steal one of those airport golf carts when the police uh, approached that suspect. Really? Really? Is that what happened? He tried to steal a golf cart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Suspect 
they got into an altercation with the suspect. Then another suspect jumped in. In all, the officer pulled his gun as he awaited backup. The fight got out of control. Really yet another extreme example of bad behavior in airplanes and airports. Bad behavior. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You bad boys and girls. You don't get to fly because you cannot comport yourselves. Right? <sighs> Nothing to see here. I'm curious, though, seeing as they're rolling out some new um, technologies new to our bodies, frequencies. Um, it's going to be interesting to see um, if the cases will jump up in January. Something tells me they will. What, what, a, what a fortunate time to roll this shit out, right? Flu season. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks for watching.